Hit 94 in Boston yesterday. The storms were wild. Today's going to be a much quieter day, and we're not going to be talking about highs in the 90s again. 93 on Sunday, 93 on Monday. We hit 96 degrees on Tuesday, and yesterday again, 94. We didn't hit records in Boston, but it sure was hot, so we get a little break in the uh, intense heat during the day today. Highs will top out in the 80s for many of us. 74 in Boston right now, and many of us are in the 70s here out over Cape Cod. We do have 60s on the map this morning, though they're more widespread than the past few mornings. 69 in Manchester, 66 in Worcester right now. It's still humid out there, though, particularly in eastern Massachusetts, really sticky on the Cape still. There is some relatively drier air to our north and our west, and this will gradually work in for some of us today. I do think it stays a little bit muggy in eastern Massachusetts, especially at the coastline. There's a quick sprinkle possible here from Hyannis over towards Orleans and Chatham in the next half hour or so. This is with the front that came through and sparked the severe weather yesterday. Now it's just kind of slowing down. It's going to wash out over southeastern Massachusetts later on today. So there may still be an isolated shower in those spots away from the coastline in southeastern Massachusetts. Isolated, brief passing later on today. We all turn less humid tonight, turns more comfortable for sleeping. It is a drier day tomorrow in terms of the humidity levels. A beautiful end to the week for our Friday. Highs in the 80s. A little sea breeze kicks in at the coast. The wind's going to be light. Saturday, we start with some sun and clouds. A pop-up thunderstorm is possible on Saturday. It's going to be warm. It's going to be humid on Saturday. The action isn't going to be that widespread. And notice its focus is mainly away from southeastern Massachusetts here. So we're keeping an eye out for a hit or miss thunderstorm on Saturday afternoon. It's nothing to cancel out to plans over, but worth keeping an eye to the sky. Highs today, mid-80s at the coast. 75 to 80 for most of us on the Cape. 81 in Hyannis today. And we may touch 90, still in a couple spots in Metro West here. Obviously, it's still not as hot as it was over the past several days with our four-day heat wave. Cape Cod, South Shore, low to mid-80s today for the beach forecast. South Coast and the Rhode Island shoreline will be in the mid-80s, too. Same for the North Shore, New Hampshire, Seacoast, and Maine Coastline, mid-80s, too, with the blend of sun and clouds. Socks and rays tonight looking good. Still a little bit muggy, but dry, no problems. Temperature around 80 for first pitch. will be cooling off into the mid to upper 70s by the end of the game. And then we're mainly clear tonight. Check it out, 50. 8 to 64 in the suburbs. A comfortable night for sleeping. You can give the AC a rest, let the fresh air in. Tomorrow, mid to upper 80s inland, low 80s at the coastline with the sea breeze kicking in. And then Saturday, we warm back up even in Boston, 87 degrees. A pop up thunderstorm is possible. We turn it a little less humid on Sunday. We'll be around 80 on the Cape, so looking good for Pan Mass Challenge riders. It looks like we'll be about 65 to 70 Saturday morning and a little more uh, warm on the Cape, particularly Sunday morning. And then starting next week, looking good. Beautiful Monday and Tuesday, back into the low 90s possible by the time we get to Wednesday. Brianna?